My dear brothers and sisters, it's another wonderful day again that the Lord has actually made and the Lord has kept us safe. And uh, we are experiencing some very wonderful, beautiful sunshine after a long, long months of rains in this country. Now today, when I actually woke up again, my mind still went to the country called Haiti. And uh, for those who do not know, my wife and I have been fasting for, uh, for, for now, I think seven days now. We've been actually going through fasting. And uh, that fast, definitely breakfast and lunch, we were, not going, uh, we were not doing. We were just fasting for two meals every day. So it's, it's, it's actually one week now, ever since we, we've, we completed our fasting. And uh, my mind still goes to a country called Haiti. Every time I wake up in the morning, the first impression and the first, you know, thinking, uh, something comes to me, the land of Haiti, the land of Haiti, the land of Haiti. I don't know why. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually privileged also to share this with you, my dear brothers and sisters. One thing is that I didn't know that uh, Haiti had a temple until I, res I did the research. Uh, on my first video that I spoke about Haiti, that's when I ended up realizing that uh, uh, Haiti had a temple. And uh, it was President Monson that actually, you know, announced, commissioned the temple to be built in the land of Haiti. So the fact that you could see the temple in that land, it means that we had a very strong and faithful congregation there, strong members of the church in that land, a people who are actually dedicated, and that is actually a symbol of what the temple is all about. Like when a temple is, is constructed somewhere, it is a symbol of the faith and the strength of the believers in that area. That is what a temple is all about. A temple signifies a lot of things. You know, it signifies a lot of things. And um, when I, I went through some searching a little bit, I ended up coming across one the temple in Ahiti. And I looked at it, and it is exactly the same design with what we are seeing with the Kenyan temple. You know, the Kenyan temple construction is exactly the same design uh, as, 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 as a Haiti temple, you know, as, as the, the way the Haiti temple was, that is exactly what I'm seeing the Kenyan temple is. And, and, and this is really very, very much exciting and to know uh, that even by design, the Kenyan temple uh, is actually uh, resembles uh, the temple in Haiti. And, and, and the fact that uh, you know, right now as we are talking, it is actually the Kenyan policemen, the special police force. Uh, they are the ones there trying to help the country of Haiti to regain or restore its stability so that the government can function as usual. And, um, and, and I'm told there's, there's some very serious uh, fire exchange there. But my mind is, is that... Uh, uh, our saints, our brothers and sisters in Haiti, how are they? Are they safe? That is my concern, my dear brothers and sisters. That one is actually my biggest concern. And as, like I said, that it was just after fasting. And uh, I keep on being told, I keep on actually receiving these, you know, intuitions about Haiti, about Haiti and uh, about our saints in Haiti. And for anyone out there who may not actually know what exactly Haiti as a country is going through right now, uh, please, all we could only urge you is that uh, please make sure you pray for the brothers, for our brothers and sisters in Haiti. Uh, pray for them because that country has been experiencing a lot. And at first time, they experienced a serious earthquake that left the country devastated. And now there has been actually, you know, quite a number of coups and coups and coups and coups. And I'm told this is something that never started today. It is something that was actually there long. It has been coups and after coups and after coups and after coups. 
and uh, recently is when we had one of the Secretary of the State in the United States of America actually calling on, okay, on countries that can actually go help Haiti to ensure that stability is realized in, in, in Haiti. And my country, Kenya, happened to be one of the countries that volunteered to go to Haiti. And I think they are, out of all the African countries, it's only Kenya that volunteered to go to Haiti. So they gave out over 300 special forces to go to Haiti, but they are being, you know, helped. Their equipments, the equipments they are using, they are being helped by the U.S., so that is what exactly really came to me. And uh, look at this temple, please. Welcome. Let's just see this temple. And this is exactly how the Kenyan temple will look like. This is exactly how the Kenyan temple will look like. Please welcome. Like I said, my dear brothers and sisters, that is exactly how the Kenyan temple looks like. In fact, from the front, I will take some pictures of Kenyan temple and you will see it. In front, it is exactly the way the Kenyan temple looks like, even the flowering and all that. That is actually a blessing to know that the temple of God is actually built in your homeland. It is a symbol of so many things. And it is a symbol that the Lord God is actually with his people, that he watches his people. And I know the saints in Haiti, they are peaceful. The Lord God is watching over them. The Lord God is taking good care of them. And that is one thing that I know, that even in the midst of all these storms, the Lord will provide a haven for all of you to ensure that you are kept safe. Otherwise, my wonderful brothers and sisters, if you know anything about Haiti and all that, please let me know. 
by actually dropping a comment there so that we can actually be able to understand how our brothers and sisters are really faring on. And if you are a saint from Mahiti, please, you can drop a comment and let us also learn from you of what the saints in Ahiti right now they are going through. Okay, relative to what is going on right now, are you having your services? Or are you having your services in your very own homes? You know, are you able to partake of the sacrament? Are you able actually to go and perform your ordinances in the temple? Please let us know over what exactly is happening. Otherwise, thank you very much. And all of us, as we strive forth even, I will encourage all of you, please let us join hands so that we pray for the saints in Ahiti. Otherwise, thank you. God bless you. And I'm looking forward to see you again next time. Thank you.